Hi beauties, welcome back. So today we're doing an unboxing of our May Boxy Charm. Um, if you guys have been with us for a hot minute, then you know uh, I've been doing Ipsy versus Ipsy with mine and my mom's Ipsy's for a while. She recently joined Boxy Charm, so now it's the same thing. We're gonna see which variations each of us got. It's a little bit different because obviously there's more customization with Ipsy, but I'm gonna choose which box I like better, what products I like the best out of the five that we received in each box. So I pick my five favorites. I think that that was like a really jumbled way to explain it. But if you have been with us for a while, you know what's going on. And if not, then just buckle up. We're gonna unbox two boxes. And then from there, chaos will ensue. But yes, so uh, of course, because now mom and I are living separately, they're coming a little later than I would like. But uh, really quickly before I forget, because I keep forgetting at the end of the videos, uh, I'm really thinking about, this is a total tangent, but I'm really thinking about Halloween for this upcoming year. Uh, last year, we did an entire seven days worth of videos where I did, we posted every single day. We took a lot of time. I came up with really good stories to research and to tell that were related to characters I created and I did the makeup. Then I showed you guys the final results. It was a lot of fun. It was very stressful. I did it in like two weeks. This year, I wanna start it earlier. So if you guys have suggestions on stories to look up or things you wanna see or characters you wanna see, I have some ideas, but I'd really like your guys' input on that. So please, in the comments, or through Instagram or Facebook or wherever you feel like commenting. Just let me know what you guys would like to see. I'm really trying to like work that out mentally and figure out what it is we're gonna do because um, I don't wanna put it off to the last minute. So yeah, it's a tangent. Anyway, uh, I always start with my mom's for whatever reason. It's just, it's like at this point, it's been two years starting with mom's box. So we're not changing it now. So this is mom's. Uh, she's opened all her stuff when she dropped it off last Friday. She told me like, you know, I've, I've opened up everything and I've looked at it. Uh, but I don't know how she felt. She tries not to give me too much feelings. I can normally predict how she feels about them, but. So this month was Flourish. Flour I thought it was flowers, but then I was like, that's not right. So Flourish, like it, really adorable little uh, display. Obviously works for the whole Mother's Day thing that we always associate with May. So yes, so, oh, okay. So upon initial inspection, looks like her box might have had a little bit of a rocky ride. Uh, the first thing that we have here is a beauty blender from Illuminati. It is very squished, but it's a it's a sponge, so I don't think that it I don't think it damaged the product. It just clearly had a, like a little bit of a rough haul. So because it is broken, I'm gonna go ahead. I don't normally pull out for things like this, but I'm gonna feel it. And it seems like a nice sponge. It's a little dense. Um, I I like. S I like my sponges to be dense, but I also want them to have just a, like a little bit more cushion than what this is. But it probably would create like a nice bounce while you're applying foundation. So it actually might wind up being a, a good little sponge to use for that. She doesn't really use sponges though. Uh, like she uses mineral foundation. So it's normally a more of a blush, a, a, a blush, a brush application. Um, so I'm not sure that she's gonna use it. I think she might have started using sponges a little bit more since I've been like, I pretty much solely use sponges. So, I mean, I, she, I might've convinced her to try them out, but I just don't feel like she uses them that often. So good product, but not necessarily up her alley. All right, next thing we have is from Murad. This is an environmental shield, the City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. Great product, I love it. I think she'll like it too. Uh, I love Murad products. This seems like a really nice size. Uh, it does come with normally like a nice little hefty price tag, probably. I'm guessing this cream is probably in the 60s, if I had to guess, maybe even the 70s. Nice size. Let's see how many ounces it is. It is 1.7 fluid ounces. So uh, definitely you can tell there's definitely some of the the uh, misperceived packaging where they like give you a lot of extra plastic. So it looks like there's more in there, but it's still, I'm sure is a nice amount of uh, product. And it looks like it's one of those applicators where you would just press down on it. So easy application as well. Uh, yeah, I definitely think that's a good product and I definitely think that it's a product she's going to like as well. Huh. I'm curious. It, it looks like we've gotten another Natasha Denona palette. Man, they are really piling those on. Not complaining, I love getting eyeshadows. And like I said, Natasha Denona comes with such a hefty price tag that I'm not normally willing to, uh, to pay for it. Just is very interesting to see. Oh, two months in a row. Very different though. Very different than last time. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, the reason I said O oh, is because I'm not really sure it's my mom's style. She'd use these two colors, I'm sure. The yellow is going to be a little bit more challenging. That one she might use as like a like a waterline, maybe. I don't know, because it's glitter. She doesn't normally use glitter pigments on her waterline. And then this one is I could only see her using as like a like a eyeliner type 
like give her just to darken it up a little bit but i don't know that she's going to use this so much like i don't know that this is one that she would grab and like throw into a travel bag whereas the other palette that we saw last month for april was much more neutral things that she would be able to uh to use a little bit more regularly i think still a pretty palette and still because it is natasha denona very nice uh, in terms of like the value of it the value is there don't know how she feels about it i like it though all right next thing we have is from siate london this is their bamboo bronzer and i personally am a huge fan of siate london i don't think that i've received a siate london product ever that i haven't liked um eyeshadows in fact the glitter pigment that's on my eyeshadow that's on my eyes today uh is one of their liquid eyeshadows and i received it in a boxy charm like a year ago and this is what made me start using liquid eyeshadows because before i would just kind of avoid them but i Hands down, love Ciate London, so. Oh, and it's so cute. Yeah, this is a good one. It reminds me a lot of uh, the bronzer that I typically use. Like, I keep it in my makeup bag, and I don't normally, like, if, unless I'm like, oh, I need to use some makeup that I kind of neglect. I normally just go with that, is the, um, the Too Faced Milk Chocolate bronzer and this reminds me of that very similar in terms of the shade um obviously the packaging is a little different but it's like the same kind of shape and like the stars are precious so good product i do think she will use that as well yeah i like i like her box we've got one more product but overall i think this is a really nice little product i mean a nice little assembly of products um and i do think she'll like it as well i think it's better than what her april box was um so the final thing we have is from skin ink it is a cocktail of collagen, coenzyme Q10, and hyaluronic acid. Yeah, great product. I love serums. I really have been sold on serums. 2020, when I started doing a lot more skincare, I was like, yes, if you, you give me a moisturizer or a serum and I'm probably gonna be thrilled with it. So yeah, I definitely think she'll use that and I think she'll like that as well. So overall good box. Um, I need to summon Nikki. Nikki, can you come here so you can do the calculator for me? All right, so first thing we have, yeah. So for mom's box, we've got the Murad Overnight Detox Moisturizer, $74, so I was right. Definitely a pricier product. Uh, the Natasha Denona, this is the Jubilee eyeshadow palette uh, with the five pan uh, is $48, which we saw last month as well. The Skin Ink um, Serum is $65. The Ciate London bronzer is 28 and our Illuminati sponge is 21. So yeah, definitely a good value. That's $236 right there. Love it. Honestly, if I got the same exact box, I would be very happy because these are good products and you definitely get a lot of value with it. And I do think mom is going to like it a lot more than she liked last month's box. Pretty much everything that I guess she was gonna feel about is what she felt. Time for my box, let's see. Already opened it up upon initial inspection, like mom's better. We'll see what it is that I have in here, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of sad. I didn't get the skin ink serum and I was hoping for that. So I did, however, get the Murad night cream. Cool, love that. Definitely will get used, big happy. Next thing I have is a five piece lavish brush set. They're like neon green, which I kind of like for the whole flourish, like, like spring flower vibe that we've got going on with this box. That being said, mom and I have been discussing recently, you guys know I'm always like, oh, I love getting brushes because the more brushes I have, the less I have to wash them. However, it's getting to the point now where like almost every Ipsy Plus, I'm getting a brush set and most boxies, I'm also getting brushes. So now I feel like I just have a, a lot. Like I, I, we could we could cool off a little bit. I'm not gonna complain too much because they will get used, it's just like, you know, you know, you guys know, you know what I'm saying. It's kind of frustrating when we keep seeing the same products in these boxes. And I understand like you have to throw in these kind of like, they're like additional products. Like, you know, you've got your main staples like these guys and then they throw in a couple like a mascara or an eyeliner or brushes or something like that to kind of get you to that five product limit. I don't know, I'm rambling. The brushes don't throw me. Would have preferred the sponge if I'm being honest. Next thing we have is the Hot Toddy Before Ironing Heat Protectant Mist. Yeah, I probably could have used this today if I'm being honest. My hair was like, I don't, my hair's been bad recently. I've talked about it in other videos. A lot of scalp issues. It's just, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. So I've been trying to use products that I feel like will help to assist in it. Um, I've been using like only when shampoo, which doesn't lather. So it's supposed to be less harsh on your hair. I, 
I've been trying. So something like this actually is something that I'm interested to try. I do like dry bar products, so I think it could um, wind up being like a, one of the products that I wind up like purchasing in the future because if I like it enough, then I'm gonna wanna keep it in my reservoir. So yeah, we'll see. I, I'm probably gonna try it tomorrow if I'm being honest and I'll report back and let you guys know how I feel about it. All right, two more things in here. Looks like we have a palette and maybe a lip color. Yes, so this is from Mellow. It is a liquid lip gloss. Don't really like lip glosses. You guys know it's like a texture thing for me. I would prefer matte lipsticks um, or like dry paints or something like that where it's gonna dry down and be a matte finish rather than being sticky all day because I don't like when my hair gets stuck in it. But, oh, it's a pretty color though. And honestly, it's they're calling it a lip, oh, sorry, I didn't show you. I was like, it's a pretty color as it's down here. Um, it looks, I don't, I guess I'd have to see it on, but honestly, it looks like it's gonna be, I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. Yeah, I guess it is still gonna have like a little bit of a creaminess, but it almost is, it almost looks like it would dry down to be matte. I guess it's just not gonna dry down fully, but it's got really nice coverage. It doesn't look like a lip gloss. Like I can vibe with this. I can vibe with this. I can get behind this one. And it is a really gorgeous color, very neutral. Kind of like the color I have on today, honestly, but the color I have on today was a mix of like an orange and like a kind of a reddish color, a reddish brown color. So this would be, you know, something similar that I wouldn't have to like mix and color coordinate. So this is from KAB Beauty, or no, KAB Cosmetics or Cab, it might be Cab, I don't know. Uh, this is Day and Night is what it's called. <gasps> love it, oh, love it. Okay, so I love my eyeshadow palette. Like it way better than Mom's. Natasha didn't know no one if I'm being honest. The only thing in Mom's box that I'm really sad that I didn't get is her skin serum. The Ciate bronzer is great, but yeah, I, I mean, I do like everything. I think if I would, if I think, if I could pick out my my products, I would probably throw these away and get this the skin serum instead, but like that's never, they're not gonna ever do that, which is fine. But yeah, gorgeous palette. I don't know if I, I'm just like waving it around. I'm a mess today, sorry guys. No, really beautiful. A lot of very neutral colors, a good mix of mattes and shimmer shades. Love this halo color. I love halo and twinkle twinkle. They look like they'd be beautiful together. Yeah, love it, into it about it. I would predict Mom's is definitely gonna be a higher value than my box. I would say my box is probably gonna be closer to that $150 mark. Well, no, not with, those, not with the Murad products. So maybe closer to $200, but it's definitely not gonna be what, $236 or whatever Mom's was. Um, so let's see, Nicholas. So of course we have our Murad Overnight Moisturizer for $74. Oh, the KAB Cosmetics or CAB Cosmetics, whichever. Um, this eyeshadow palette's actually retailed at $52. Um, I'm a little surprised by that only because I don't really know the brand. And so normally it's like brands I don't know as much or a little bit cheaper palettes, like maybe in the $30 range, but I'm not saying it's not worth it. I'm just saying I didn't expect that. So lavish eye collection is $30. I would not pay that for these brushes. And especially like this plastic little thing is, mm. but we'll, we'll, okay, $30. Uh, this dry bar hot toddy heat protection mist is $27. And then our Mellow Cosmetics lip gloss is $18, which gives us a total of $201. So I was pretty on the money with that. I said about $200. You know, it's funny. I guess I guess I would pick my box still as my favorite because I really do like the eyeshadow palette. I'm excited to try the hair product, but I'm really jealous about Mom's skin serum. That would be the only thing I would I would trade. Honestly, I would trade I would trade both of these for that. I would take four products over that, but whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know how you guys felt about the month of May, if you liked it, if you got a different variation. And yeah, definitely, definitely give me ideas for Halloween. I'm really starting to try and think about it. I was just talking to Nikki about it today and it would be uh, very helpful to have your guys' input on that. Other than that, if you like the video, thumbs up please, helps us out a ton. Subscribe, because we'd love for you to be a Dark Angel family member, Dark Angel beauty family member. I don't, I'm a mess today. Nikki's just standing there like. Anyway, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with a dark twist.